Mo Leung Tin Jun. Hello from Tinya Dragon's YouTube channel. This is Ji Sifu, and today we're going to talk about the green Fai Chun. So you'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> How can you have green? <laughs> Everyone, you know, Chinese New Year, we need red. <laughs> Why do you have green Fai Chun? Okay, the Chinese New Year banner. Yeah, you cannot really find these green ones in the shop because no one's going to buy it because they don't know about it. But basically, it's just because you don't know what these things are about and that's why you don't have it, right? When you know it's good stuff, you know how to use it, it's good. Now, in the tradition, um, like the normal average Joe's kind of knowledge, they think that when someone is dead that year, like you got funeral in the past year, uh, next year, you should not put up the red Fai Chun. Instead, you should be using the green Fai Chun instead. Okay, well, that isn't wrong, but why? And then it leads to, well, if I have, like, um, I don't have any funeral, can I be putting up the green Fai Chun? Now, it doesn't mean that, okay, today, like like this, this year, um, no, like last year, I don't have anybody dead in my house. But this year, I put up some green Fai Chun. Does it mean like bad luck? Okay, that's a big, big problem because people think that it means bad luck. You're in the more cold side. You're in the, you know, not so good zone, right? And people go into you and then they see the green stuff on the wall and they will think your house is kind of creepy. Uh, you know, the energy is not good for them, you know, to stay away. No, that's not the case, okay? Green is not a bad color. Now, we got to understand what color does in nature in order to know uh, what it means. Green Fai Chun, the green color stuff, okay? Usually, it's only with black ink. Okay, black ink. Now, what does it mean? What does green do? Well, if you actually pay attention to our lecture on the full color, green is what we refer to as the uh, D3 energy. The green energy is the energy of what we call the Leng Dong, which is to, it's like to summon, to invite, to welcome, to bring, like, like wind. It, wave and bring things over okay it's like bring the stuff from here to here here to move around it's kind of like it's kind of like um a postage <laughs> okay like you post those servers from here to here here to it moves things around and it always moves things from the sky to ground this is a metaphor. It's a pattern only. It's not really the sky to the ground, okay? But it's a nice metaphor. <coughs> um, the sky, it's basically referring to what we call the pre-heaven state of things, which means it's where all the potential, the resources, the potential before happening, this stage, okay? Everything like that. It's the sky. The ground is where things happen. Is where like a, it contains something, an event, or maybe you can say like a, a school is a ground. It contains all the teacher, the, the student, and all that stuff inside going into a process. Any process is like a ground, okay? So let's say you have um, a house right here. A house is a ground. Anything outside the house is the sky, okay? Now, you can buy things or get things from outside the house, okay? In this case, let's say you want to buy grocery. Well, grocery is outside of your house. It comes from the sky. Not the sky up here, okay? But we're talking about the sky as in things that is outside of the ground, okay? So, when you're buying grocery, like new things enter your home. That is things from the sky going into the ground. Now, from the ground and out again, that is the red energy, okay? That is the D7 red energy. It's like when you have a, a business, okay? When the business is done creating this product and then pushing it out, okay? Like sales and marketing time, when they promote and all that stuff. That is the red, red stage of things, okay? That's red. Now, the green is like, when new things is entering the 
business, new things entering, like, oh, your uh, your company just got, you know, maybe let's say um, you got a new uh, printer or something like that, new technology coming in, okay? New program being installed, something like that, okay? Something new, right? Something new from outside coming in, okay? And so basically this new thing will trigger things inside the company to start something, okay? It will trigger this new element to be interacting with the company, promoting the process, promoting what's inside the process, okay? So the green fai chun is actually not a bad thing. It's actually quite useful, okay? It depends what you want, but it's actually quite useful. Why? Because you're attracting energy that will come in and these like these energy that comes in okay will help the internal um, processing of whatever you're trying to help with okay so it actually brings in things to help what you're doing okay it helps <laughs> and this is targeted to what you can say is like things come in okay that you will be welcoming in this energy will help you more with whatever you you are still working on and not something that you want success or something that grows into reality. It helps you inside, okay? It, it's like helping you internally. Now, when will you need these kind of help? The first thing is think about what you are, uh, what you have in your mind, okay? The first question is, what do you have in mind this year? that you want it to have more chance of being able to come out to reality later on, okay? Now, the green is like this. Um, let's say you want to open a business, okay? You cannot use red right away because you're not ready. It's like you cannot give birth to the baby right away when you're just pregnant, right? So this is the case. The baby is not yet mature. Right? Whenever you have things inside your mind that just started, it's not mature. You need to use green because green will bring in things to feed the baby. So while the baby is still like growing and developing inside the body, it will get more nutrition and become nicer, better health, things like that. And then it leads to later a healthier birth. So this baby can be anything, you know, it can be your plan, your business, whatever it is, okay? Now, let's say you're trying to make a website, but you, you don't have it yet. It's all in, in your mind, or maybe it's like in process, but you're not really pushing it out yet. As long as this thing is not mature enough to be launched out and let the public see it, okay? As long as you're in the stage that you're still working on it, you will need green. Green helps you to pull more pre-heaven energy. These resources will go in and help you to before things are mature. It helps you to have a better growth, develop more things inside before it's actually saying, oh, it's ready to fall down. You know, like you see fruits from a tree, right? Some fruits, they're not even mature, but they poop and oops, it dropped, okay? Now you want the fruit to keep growing and growing, growing until they're like really nice and sweet. And then you can pick it up, right? So basically that's the difference. Red Fai Chun, okay, the red banners are more like you want to pick it already or you're about to pick it, that kind of stage. Then you need red energy. When you're not ready yet, this is not mature stuff, okay? Something that is not yet mature or maybe you want the help that will come in to help what you're doing right now, but the stuff that you're doing is not really going out yet, okay, not done yet, then you will want the green energy to help. Green energy is a great energy, you know, like let's say you're studying, okay, now studying uh, in school, green energy, what can that help you with? Well, it can help you with a lot of things. For example, when you're doing homework, okay, or you're studying only, like you're trying to uh, 
study and memorize something, memorize some formulas or some understanding uh, knowledge from a textbook. You know, just the understanding part. Okay. That part, you know, just to understand a lecture, it's not about giving birth to something. Like there's no result to come, right? You're just studying. Then you will need the green energy because it comes in and helps you to process these things better, understand better, and it leads to a better experience overall, right? So green Fai Chun is actually very useful. Okay, so if you want to make the Fai Chun magical and really working, you can always feel free to get ordained today and start learning the Sam Law San Gong that we teach to make these Fai Chun really magical and fill with the magic power of the lineage and make them work. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye!